Welcome to the pop-up show. And again, it's on. Thank you for all tuning in. This is the pop-up show. Uh, what we're doing today, we have a special panel of very special people, and I would love to introduce them right away. Without further ado, I want to start by introducing Mr. Dwayne Wade Sr. How you doing? Mr. Wade, how's it going on, man? Good, man. Glad to be here. Hey. Man, I appreciate you coming on, man. Uh, if you give me one second, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce everybody, and then we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about what you got going on, okay? Let's do it, my man. And next, we also have Mr. Marvin Williams Senior. Hey, my man, how's everybody doing? Hey, how's everybody doing? Mr. Williams, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Trying to maintain. Okay. Thanks for having me on. No, thank you for coming on. I'm, I'm very blessed and humble for you guys coming on. And also, we have Mr. Charles Watson, or Charles Watson Sr. Hello, hello. How hello. you doing? Why did Mr. Watson, how you doing, man? I'm, I'm <laughs> out here trying to stay safe, man, down here in this hot spot. Hey, Just man, that's the only you. way. <laughs> and next, we have Miss Kelsey Nicole. Nelson, Miss Chelsea, how hey. you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Doing well, doing well. And next we have the man, the myth, Mr. Eric Wilson. Good evening. What's up, everybody, man? How's everybody doing tonight? Good. All right. Doing good. Thank you for doing having good. me, man. Always a pleasure. And the man behind everything, Mr. Superman himself, Mr. Fago Franklin the <laughs> Third. What's going on? How y'all doing? <laughs> Where you at, man? Yeah, yeah blackout mode. Hey, I, have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> it's all right, man. We're going to get it together. We That's how you playing with us today. I'm waiting for the magic trick. <laughs> and then. Hey, you got to let me in. Hey. Hey, we we got you, man. We gonna we gonna make it happen, man. <laughs> and then we also got the villain here. We got say what said again, Mr. Taurus Ray. What's going on? What's going on, y'all? Everybody doing? What's up, oh, right, brother? What's up, man? How are you? All right, now and also from say what said again, we got Chuck. What's good, Chuck? What's going on, bro? Good to see <laughs> everybody. On, How y'all doing? What's up, Chuck? Yeah. How are you? How are you? All right. All right. So. Today, man, we're talking about what's going on in sports right now. We are in the playoffs. We are in the playoffs. So we're going to be talking about NBA uh, and what's going on in the playoffs and how we're looking. But before we even do that, we I want to talk. I want to ask Mr. Wade, Mr. Williams, and Mr. Watson about some um, things you got going on. So let's start with you, Mr. Wade. Uh, what kind of uh, endeavors you've been uh, going? You have going on with you right now? All right, before I get started, I, I just want to say, how you doing, Kelsey? She's the only lady on here. I'm ready. So I, I didn't <laughs> want to pass you up by not speaking to you, so uh, good evening to you. Thank good you. Good evening to the whole panel. And, of course, to my brothers, Marvin and, and Charles Watson, uh, hey, Pops up, and being a professional basketball <laughs> players. How y'all doing, bro? Good, uh, good. Basically, man, right now, uh, I'm busy doing a lot of things. You know, the pandemic, you know, a lot of times people say uh, the pandemic was, you know, bad for us. But I think a, a lot of good came out of it. One of the, the greatest things I believe that came out of the pandemic so far is that mo most of the world stopped for a moment and we all got a chance to sit down and relax at the same time with no stress. You know what I'm saying? So everybody got a chance to take a break from whatever they was doing and didn't have to punch a clock or nothing. And I think that was one of the most amazing things that ever happened in my time uh, on this earth. So. Uh, it wasn't so bad for me, uh, the pandemic coming in. And then, you know, I'm doing a, a podcast called Way Different that's been running for three years um, here in Miami. And, and it's about bringing up, you know, bringing together everybody in Miami because down here in Miami, people don't pull people up with them. And mm -hmm. we feel like our podcast is the, is the podcast that's pulling everybody up and getting everybody seen. And making sure that they're being heard, their voices are being heard down here in Miami. So that's what that podcast, Way Different, is all about. Um, and uh, of course, um, recently I, I was just diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer uh, back in June. Okay. I had surgery, and uh, I'm dealing with the recovery of that. But uh, I can say that uh, you know I'm 55 to 60 percent back, 
and I, I think I'll be able to live a long life. Um, I believe at first I was uh, uh, living to die, uh, and now I believe I'm dying to live. So uh, I'm doing a cancer uh, project right now with uh, five people in my family because uh, we had a, we got a long history of cancer in our family. About uh, I believe somewhere between 12 and 14 of us has been diagnosed in our family with cancer, and so. Uh, I, I got a, a team of about 10 and uh, we're, we're doing a project uh, and I call that Dying, uh, dying to Live. And uh, we'll be putting those PSAs out and y'all y'all will be hearing us uh, in, the, in the future talking about uh, what we went through uh, with our cancers. And um, mm -hmm. it's a lot, man. It's a, it's, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a different lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? You take on a different lifestyle yeah. when you find out that you've been diagnosed with cancer and uh, mm. just finding out uh, in the last couple of months, you know, I found out, I found out in the in the last um, two months. But I, I, I had been seeing my urologist three years before. Uh -huh. You know, I even, oh, they even test me and found out that I was, you know, any any positive at any weight. So within thirty days, I ended up having surgery. So uh -huh. other than that, man, I'm I'm getting ready, man, for the rest of my life. Uh, and I I always wanted to do a movie. I always wanted to act. I've been acting. Now, I know oh, my guys yeah. on here probably say I act all the time. Look at why. That's awesome, though, man. Yeah, man. You know what? What I, what I learned is uh, uh, just listening to a different uh, people's stories with cancer, a lot of times when you're able to share your experiences, you're helping out someone else is going through that same experience because sometimes they're not realizing that other people are going through the same pain they are. And like I was telling you before, a lot of people in our community are experiencing this. It's hitting hard and this is just a bad time. So anything you got, please shoot it to me, shoot it to Fago, Torrance. We definitely going to promote. We do that cross networking big. So we're going to make the word spread very heavy, man. Eric, Alex, and Kelsey, we'll do that, man. No doubt. No doubt. Absolutely. I'm all in. Awesome. Yes, Mr. Williams, Mr. Williams, what you got going yes, on, sir. bro? Hey, uh, <laughs> thanks again for having me on. Thanks to all you guys and, and, and ladies. I, um, I just did a book. I just recently uh, released a book called Secondary Break NBA Dad Story. Um, yeah. It just came out, uh, I think, first part, like, end of July. Uh, it seems to be selling pretty well from what I'm hearing. Um, I, I thank the Lord for that. I wrote the book because I was sitting back on, you know, thinking about my life, how I, where I come from, from yeah. my struggles as, as growing up with two parents who were basically dysfunctional alcoholics and how I end up joining the military, having great success there, uh, awesome. ended up going to college on a basketball scholarship and yeah. raising a son while I was playing basketball on a scholarship. Um, I graduated from college. My son uh, graduated from college. And so I just thought I'd write the book to try to inspire young people that, awesome. I mean, it doesn't matter where you come from. If I can do it, if you read the book and see what I've gone through, anybody can do it. You can be successful. It's all it's all a state of mind. And and it also talks about if you have a passion, no matter what it is, just follow that passion and see what it takes yeah, you. Know? Amen. That's Amen. awesome. Yeah. That is awesome, Mr. Hey, Williams. Hey, Mr. And Williams, we, I just want to let you know, I just bought it on Amazon, so I'm going to get oh, it this week and read it. Nice. Oh, thank that you. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. That's wonderful. That is smooth. And anybody that's watching, like you said, the book is called Second Break, a NBA dad story. It's right below. Like my man Eric just did, go on Amazon. Let's check it out, man. Hold on. Thank you, man. Oh, yes. No Mr. Doubt. Watson, what you got going on, brother? Hello, everybody, and thank you for having me on, and, and, and ladies and gentlemen. Um, just trying to stay safe and stay alive, man. Uh, we in Las Vegas, and we're doing, you know, we're still doing our uh, out-of-school program through our foundation, through Quiet Storm Foundation. We start, we're doing a lot of uh, uh, community service programs, and then we're doing a lot of stuff virtually. But, you know, listen, and what the pandemic has done for me is that I had, uh, I, I, it has, has taking another awareness of ourselves and our health, especially our health. I have, I, I was, on a, I'm on a trip right now. I came down here to visit my cousin here in Augusta. And before I got here, he passed. Oh, oh man. I'm sorry to hear so that. My, vacation, right. my little vacation turned into a funeral. So now I got to stay here for like another week because they're going to bury him next week. So I can't go back home. I just come back. But, but it made me more aware of my health. You know, and what I'm doing, and and, and through the uh, fathers and men of professional basketball, we've been 
focusing on men's health. You know, men's health. A lot of guys don't like to go get prostate tests and, and get checkups, period. You know, men don't like to do that. And this That's is something right. that we are trying to focus on and try to get guys to do is pay more attention to your health, you know, because we walk around and, and, and to come to find out they had an autopsy on the brother, my cousin, and he had all kind of blockages and stuff. He died of a heart yeah. attack. Uh, so it's just been it's been it's been crazy, man. Wow. But God's good, you know. I know He don't make no mistakes, yeah. but we just have to continue to really stay focused on 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 things that's really important to us, which yeah. is our families, and you know, and, and not so much on material stuff. And, and brother, uh, uh, you know, uh, again, my, brother Marvin, uh, writing a book is a good thing, man, because like you said, it gives us the time to really think about. You know, life and, and where we come from and where we're going, man. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. If I can just say one thing really quick about that, I, I mean, I appreciate this more than you gentlemen know for the simple fact is we're always talking about how much of our history we don't know about. You know what I mean? So so I'm, I'm very thankful that you three gentlemen are here tonight with us and, and you're keeping that part of our generation, our history, and y'all's legacy going because this is stuff that we need to know about. So thank you to the three thank of you. Thank you, Eddie. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And we're definitely keeping you in prayer and your, and your family in prayer, yeah. man. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk a little sports, man. Let's talk about this bubble. So today we <laughs> had Memphis and Portland going at it. Memphis and Portland. And we had, uh, we had Portland, you know, topping it off. Uh, in the fourth quarter with uh, C.J. Uh, uh, McCollum dropping <laughs> 14 in the fourth. How did y'all feel about that game? What did y'all notice? What happened? Who's going to jump? I'll start it. <laughs> um, <laughs> that game was literally, and first off, thank you so much for sharing your stories. I just concur everything you all said. And actually, if I can do a quick plug, next yeah. month I'll be doing the Prostate for Cancer Walk and Run. I'm so excited. I'll be broadcasting oh, really? that live. So oh. I love what you all are doing. Black health is so important. I just did a show yeah. earlier with David Aldridge, and we talked about the importance of black fathers yeah. and health. And I think yeah. that's just phenomenal. So I applaud you all for the work that you do. But now thank going you. back to the, no, my pleasure. Going to the bubble in Orlando. I mean, what who, we have asked for a better game. Like every single second of that game was phenomenal. The second half, CJ Clutch McCollum, I think is what we'll have to start calling him. But I mean, the Memphis Grizzlies, I'm excited to see what's yet to come for them. Ja Morant, praise, praise, praise. Ricky, yeah. I mean, it's amazing, yeah. amazing to see. But I mean, it's nice that, you know, Dame had his uh, his Robin to his Batman. CJ showed up. <laughs> Carmelo Anthony showed up. And I mean, yeah. it's just a phenomenal yeah. game. So I'm excited. Yeah. I want more play-in games. I could, I could do that game every day, honestly. That was just, <laughs> I mean, the bubble has provided. So it was great. Phenomenal. Phenomenal play. And what an ending. Wow. I don't think any of us wanted it to end, but just, you know, knowing what Nurkic was playing through, I mean, losing your grandmother and then yeah, having yeah. to go play right. and perform mm -hmm. and do that type of performance and win that game and survive. I mean, I'm just, it's been exciting to see Portland and I'm so excited they're in the bubble and I'm so excited to see what's yet to come for them. Yeah, I think CJ McCullough took that bone that he had messing with his back out today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's playing yeah. like a man possessed, uh, and then I end up not seeing the end of the game because you know I, my grandson is my grandson is running me crazy. So uh, <laughs> I had to I had to run behind him, but uh, I, I didn't get to see the rest of y'all. Tell me what happened, man. Who 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 other than McCullough? What did uh, <laughs> what did the other Dame do? Now Nurkic had a good Nurkic, night. Nurkic, 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 one to ten. Yeah. For them guys, man, I tell you what, from what I've seen the last two nights of Portland, man, them guys put on a lot of energy. The la actually, the last three games in the bubble, they put on a lot of energy. I'm talking about Dillard, you know what I mean? Uh, Lillard hitting 42, 61, 51. I'm like, yeah. that's a lot of energy, man. And, and, and it's, it's yeah. impressive to see that. And then they got back-to-back -back games and they come out. I think the, the blessing with the bubble to me is those guys aren't distracted. And right. I, I think you see right. it in play. Versus if they were, if there was no bubble, I'm sure that the play wouldn't at this level wouldn't be as intense as it was. You know what I mean? I think so the greatest I'm part about that the bubble so that they're not so distracted. You I think the greatest mean? part about that is that nobody has is, is uh on the road team. And yeah. they don't and they don't yeah. have fans, you know, yeah. real fans there. So they don't have yeah. nothing to distract them, especially the, the guys that's coming mm -hmm. off the bench that is, that's the role players. They don't have to worry about nothing, you know, right now because yeah. everybody's at home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. it's a good fit for everybody. But I think y'all y'all missed it a little bit, man. Uh, 
I think we should have all been talking about who's who's whose team was who was your team boss uh, uh Portland or was your t- team Phoenix? That's what I want to you know hear from y'all. <laughs> yeah, 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 I, know, I was so definitely gonna uh gonna say something about that. I really wish Phoenix would have been there. But you know, my, my opinion is a little biased. I'm a Lakers fan, so yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We all probably a little biased. We all probably got different teams anyway. Yeah, yeah. You know, all, that, all that Portland stuff is cute, but Lakers in five. That's all I'm oh, saying. Oh, 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 that's a big, that's a big talk, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look, hey, you you got to remember LeBron. Like, they don't call him King James for no reason. T, I, I, I'm, I'm not even. A, I'm not even a LeBron fan. I really, I'm not a LeBron fan, but. I gotta rock with my Lakers, man. Oh, you I got understand. a Laker, you got a Laker Superman outfit. You got me. I want to. I mean, <laughs> hey, Cyrus, I want to rob with you. I really do on this one, and you know that was that is still. I'm still saying my finals matchup is you know Lakers Celtics. I'm still going with that because. I feel like playoff LeBron, Mr. Wade. I see you up there now. Come on now, yeah, actually, you gotta give Boston got some credit. I actually got Lakers in Miami, honestly, but but but, but let me get you on. That's the only reason you say it, man. Yeah, man. Hey, man, don't say that, Mr. Wade. Don't say that, Mr. Wade. Wait, I what you because you know before being. I don't have to be a Miami Heat. Uh, fan now because my son ain't with him no more. If I don't want to, y'all know, y'all know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but but Chuck can vouch. I had a, uh, I had Philly actually before Ben Simmons got hurt. But now I, I really think it's Miami, man. No, it's gonna be Boston. It's, it's, it's Miami. It's, Boston's got that depth, and they've got probably the best coach outside. Y'all just of gonna count Milwaukee out. Huh? I'm not counting Giannis. I'm not counting Middleton. I'm not counting the Lopez brother. I'm not counting any of them out. But when I look top to bottom, I just say the Celtics this season, up until they got into the bubble, never played at full strength. They never, they were always undermanned and they still got themselves to the, to the, you know, to the bubble and to the playoffs. Now that they're healthy, Oh, they are forced to be reckoned with. Oh, that's but, hey, but, that's, but, that's, but that's what every team know. That's, that's what every team know in the bubble, though. Everybody's getting well, I think I think people are no discounting. Y'all forget, y'all forget about Toronto now. There you what go. Oh, yeah. 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 There you yeah. go. The going to come in. So, so have to go through Toronto. I think what we need to do is find out whose team is what on here, because y'all kind of mixing me up a little bit. So we're going to start with the main man, Jarrell. We want to hear what you guys say. And with, with basketball, I'm, I'm just watching the game. I ain't had a team since Penny, to be honest with you. With <laughs> <laughs> I've just been, been wanting to see a good game, so I don't have any favorites. But I tell you what, I, I respect LeBron, but uh, I, I'm a Curry fan. Man. I, I represent uh, NC all day, man. Right. <laughs> a Curry fan. Next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go your turn, Faygo. That's hey, 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 man. Hey, look, we got more guys than, uh, than Curry in the league from North Carolina. Come on. Uh. Hey, hey, look, That's my listen, favorite, y'all. though. That's my favorite player. All I got to tell y'all is this. Look in the mirror right now. Ain't no light-skinned boys on this one right here, but you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Light skin is out for right now. Hey. <laughs> don't do it like that now. I know, right? <laughs> no, but, but, what you got, Fago? Like, uh, I'm a diehard Lakers fan, but I feel like the Clippers is going to win it all. Oh, come on, Fago. Hey, hey, Clippers, Clippers are nice. Clippers are nice. Well, I mean, you got to go east too now. You got to go east and west. Oh, and it's going it's going to be Clippers and um and Boston. And I hate saying it because I'm a diehard Lakers fan, but Boston is very deep in their depth. They got a nice bench. I love Jalen Brown. Um, uh, Jason That's Tatum is too. definitely getting it in. Um, they're just very deep, man, and they're very aggressive. That's how you play small ball, Houston. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, uh, man, Chuck, let's go, Chuck, because I ain't heard nothing yet. Man, I'm a, uh, I'm a Lakers fan, too, but right. I'm like, I'm like Fago, man. Come like, on. Bro. Sometimes you got to either pick with your heart or you're going to pick with, you know, what's real in front of your face. So I picked the Clippers to go to the finals as well. Um, from the East, I'm going with Toronto. I just think their toughness and the defense that they display all around, they put every five, any five they put on the court is going to play defense. Yeah, there you go, Toronto, Lakers, and, Lakers and five. I think the key to their team is Kyle Lowry. When he plays well, when Kyle Lowry plays well, 
the, yeah. the outcome is normally they're, they're nah, normally Siakam. Siakam. Uh-oh. Siakam do the same thing every game though. Kyle Lowry, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> he plays well. You know. Here go James. Here go James over here. Come on. Hey, James. Hey, James. Hey, James. Hey, James. Hey, Yo, hey, Charlie, you know, who else you going to yeah, eat? He, he really not. <laughs> who, me? Uh, yeah. I want to say this real quick. Fago and Chuck, after the show, we need your, uh, I need your Lakers card back. Y'all <laughs> 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 ain't real Lakers fan. We got to keep it up. Uh, I'm a diehard. Been a diehard I, since Kobe. I just, when I look at the East, this is what I say. When I look at Boston, I don't believe in nobody on that. Not Boston. Well, okay, Boston too. When I look at Boston, I... Kimba Walker's never been in a never been in a real big game. Mm-hmm. Jason Tatum, uh, mm. that's debatable. Yes, yes. It's, it's, it's debatable. He, he's been in big games, but he ain't. I, I don't know. Toronto, nice. I can see that. Toronto, I can see, but I just feel like Jimmy, man. To me, they was they was a lucky Kawhi shot away from, mm-hmm. away from getting to the Eastern Conference Finals last year and probably beating uh and, and beating Milwaukee. I just I don't know. I just feel like it's something about Jimmy, man. It, it, it's I like Miami. I don't know what, what some of the young guys, Duncan Robinson, uh Bam, Tom Bam. gonna bring gonna bring night in, night out. But I just believe in Jimmy, man. I really do. I like okay. Jimmy. So you got the heat. All right, Eric, you you the main man out of Philly. Let's see what you gotta say. Cause your team is on the bubble on or, or should I say on the on, or should I say on the curve? Yeah, my, my team's about to get out of Orlando and head back to the two one five. That's what's been happening in Philadelphia. This this and and, and for that reason why. I, I've chosen to go with Boston because, like I said, I've I've watched this team, especially over the last two seasons with me covering the Orlando Magic down here. I've seen what this team has done. When you can go into somebody else's house with no Brown, no Tatum, and no Enos Cantor, and you just take the Orlando Magic to the woodshed and leave them there, that says to me, you are a scary team when you get to be at 100%. Now, I take nothing away from Toronto. They are the defending champs. But I have to ask the question, which Van Fleet and which Lowry are going to show up? Because we've seen them in playoff times where they can be world beaters or they don't even sniff the bench. So that's my that's my hiccup with them. I feel with Brad Stevens, he has just comprised this team of Boston and been like, okay, we are going to make a run, and we are going to remind people who we are. Now, when you flip it over to the West, I take nothing away from Kawhi. Kawhi wants to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt, before he turns 30, he can win three championships with three different teams. And be the mm-hmm. first person to do it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You so, and, you, know, you went out, and you, you, Kawhi Leonard, you personally recruited Paul George. Who? So Paul George who? has a responsibility. Who, who, because who Kawhi went out and said, I want you by my side. I want you to be the Robin to my Batman. You kill him, but I cannot go against LeBron because we know what LeBron is like in the regular season, and we know LeBron is a different animal in the postseason. And at any given time, this man can take over a game. That's why I have Lakers in Boston. Well, okay, I'll say, there, there, there's, no back up to you, there's no bench. <laughs> Again, Wait, Faye, I heard up. about the Lakers. All y'all got Lakers. Go ahead, Kelsey. <laughs> All right. There, so there I'm gonna... no bitch out there. J.R. Smith is not producing well. Uh, that ain't Kyle no person, is it? It's inconsistent. <laughs> Still. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Hold, hold, on. Look, look. <laughs> hold on, Faye. We're going to get into that. This is going to be fun. So I, I I rep the district. Be nice. I'm a Wizards fan by heart, but we're not going to talk about their bubble performance. So please, please be nice. <laughs> Next year, we'll talk back. about the Wizards. <laughs> when, we get, when we get Bill and Wall back. But I am going with the Lakers. I mean, I think you all said it. LeBron, I, he wants to do something in LA. He went there with a purpose. I don't think we could ever underestimate LeBron. And let's also remember, he's playing with Kobe on his back. He knows what the Lakers meant to Kobe. We know how heavy the loss of Kobe was and how, clo- how much that hurt LeBron. And I think he knows what he could do for that city with the championship would be so special for LA. And I think, I mean, you all see it. I mean, with him and AD and then if Kyle Kuzma can show up, like he needs to show up and be consistent, it's going to be a nice, it's going to be a nice team for the Lakers. I do like the Celtics. I will touch on Philly. I think ah, the 76ers, they broke my heart. I think they were one of the biggest disappointments and I understand what happened Mm -hmm. with Simmons, but I think they were all just so promising. We all love this team. I will put the Celtics there, but I have to say, I really do like the Bucks because you can never count 
Giannis Antetokounmpo out mm-hmm. and what he can do for that franchise. But I just don't think he has enough as a supporting cast that's consistent to do what he needs them to do to win a championship this year. So but again, all, y'all got a great point. all y'all got a great point, but I think it boils down to championship pedigree. And before I let White and Williams talk, I just want to say these about uh, say this about these two guys and myself. Uh, of course, we are we are fathers and men of professional basketball players. That's that's the term. And um, the only one uh, out of us three on here, son, that's playing in the playoff is Marvin Williams, son. And so Marvin, we're gonna let you go for why because you're still in the you still in the race. So let's get what you got. Well, thank, thank you for thank you for that, D. I appreciate the kindness. Uh, I think you know I think a lot of people. I look at the Lakers and I think LeBron, yes, he's great. Not taking nothing away from him, but LeBron is one injury away from them guys not making it. If you mm. watch them in a bubble, when LeBron is not there, yeah. Davis is just, it's like he's out there sleepwalking. He don't, it, I don't know if he wants to perform with, with LeBron. He plays at his best with LeBron. And then you got to remember, Davis has never been that far in the playoffs. So, so as far as playing experience and that kind of pressure, that has yet he has yet to prove that he can play at that level and under that kind of pressure. He's never been that far. I think I think what the most he's went with New Orleans, what the first, second round? Second round. So, yeah. Second round? Second round. Second round. Second round. Yeah, second round. Right. It got so swept. I think I think the Lakers to me, they don't have they don't have the they need to the figure bench. out who they're gonna have coming off the bench to, to help them. LeBron, LeBron and Davis is not gonna get it done. Rondo they back. To step up his game if they allow him to. It seems like they're not allowing him to yet. Um, but I think I think I'm coming out of the West. I think coming out of the West, it's probably gonna be the, honestly. If I had to bet, I would bet on the Clippers. I think okay. Clippers, if you look at the Clippers, they remind me of the old grimy, hard nosed blue uh, blue collar worker dudes that they had when they had KD and Ray Allen and all those guys. Don't know how to put together a work class t- uh, working I, class team. So I, 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 I huh? I just want to know Clippers gonna be in the mix. Before you go on, I just want to know, Jarrell, is that a damn gone button that you're pushing and shit? So you can <laughs> <laughs> oh, say that again. <laughs> is that a gone button? Oh, <laughs> button you go oh, nah, nah. I don't know where that, that I don't know where that is, I man. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be in the east. It's probably <laughs> I think I think if Milwaukee plays, if Milwaukee to me, the issue with Milwaukee right now is they're not sharing the basketball. They rely too heavily, in my opinion, on uh, Mitchell. And uh, they got to get uh, Giannis out of the habit of understanding, okay, I'm double team, get rid of the ball. Because I think sometimes he get caught up in the wanting to play the moment. You know what I mean? Yeah, we know you're a superstar. Don't get caught up in that. Just let's play the game and make the right plays. You know what I mean? So with him and Mitchell, they're going to need some more help. So, But they they but they but got depth. So it's going to either be Toronto or it's going to be Milwaukee. Okay, why did you finally get a chance to come huh? out of the woods? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, for me, yeah, it is, uh, okay. For me, it is Milwaukee in the East and uh, the Bucks because, like y'all say, the, I, I, they got depth and they big too, down in the paint and whatnot. They big, so I, I like Milwaukee coming out of the East and uh, the Clippers coming out of the West. But don't, don't, don't be careful. with the Portland Trailblazers is gonna be. Uh, yeah, they playing with passion, yeah. man. I'm telling you, they yeah. playing with a passion, and they are really playing with a chip on their shoulder. All of them. So that, that, that's my. They gotta play thing. the Lakers first. What chip they gonna have? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's, gonna be, that's gonna be a great. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Yeah, that's, 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 that's gonna be a great. Yeah. Yeah. Be a great yeah. The reason I like the Clippers because I'm talking about the coach. Doc Rivers is a better coach than Frank Vogel. My son played in Atlanta. Right. Frank Vogel is not a good coach. You know, especially <laughs> in no playoffs. Hey, hey, you got Jason Kidd though. Y'all, y'all see how close he got yeah, to that camera? Hey, Jason might be that next year. <laughs> they hey, I win, just want to know. Why, why, you, they don't win. Why, why you ain't going with Indiana in the East? Your son played for Indiana all his career. <laughs> you hear what I said? I'm going with uh, uh, Milwaukee, man. Uh, it would be Milwaukee or Boston. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So y'all all got great points, y'all. You know, because everybody, you know, has their own opinion, and uh, depends on how long y'all been watching the sport. Um, the Lakers, um, they go as Kuzma go. Put it like that. If Kuzma steps up, they're gonna have a great playoff because he's sometimes. And 
I'm 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 sad to say that I usually be with the Lakers, but they they main guard Bradley Bradley Bill uh, Bradley uh, Bradley, uh Bradley. Bradley. Bradley not there. Right. Maybe Bradley's not there, and that's the man who distributes the ball and can get yeah. his own, can get his own. And so the, the, without the him there, the I'm a little timid of LeBron, but I know what LeBron is capable of. He has championship pedigree, and that's what I'm scared of. But the, the Clippers, the, the Clippers has a whole team mm. of champion yeah. pedigree home and people. Coach. And yeah. so for that That'll reason, I'm going to go against LeBron, <laughs> and I'm going to go, uh, and I know my son LeBron probably going to be watching, and they're going to be wanting to you know, send me a text or something, but I ain't going to answer it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't answering it. And, uh, you you know, know, uh, way, tell but, him what you told us. Huh? <laughs> tell him what you told <laughs> us. But I got a question about that, though. Go ahead. I hundred percent agree with y'all on what y'all saying about Kawhi, but it, it's a dude on that team. I know somebody said earlier that uh that Cal Lowry is kind of 50-50. It's another it's another 50-50 dude on, on, on the Clippers team that I don't trust. And that's yeah. that, what's what's his name? Playoff what? Yeah, Paul. <laughs> Did you know George? Oh, yeah. Who? I believe in I believe in playoff CJ, Rondo. I believe in playoff P. Mm. He's talking about Paul George? Yes, yeah. that's who we're talking about. <laughs> Cut that light skin, man. He hasn't been able to disappear in the playoffs. This is why this is why Paul George? And this is why on our show, this is why on our show watch went black on that. This is why on our show we get it, we get into it so much. Because like I told him, I get where he's coming from, but if you look at Paul George's performance last year in the playoffs. He averaged 30 with Russ. The issue was, the issue was Paul George was rolling, and when it came to the end of the game, all of a sudden Russ wanted to be the hero. <laughs> but if you look at Paul George last year, he averaged 30, he averaged 30, almost hey, a double, hey, double got, like 38. Where did you get him, Chuck? It it, got it, him it, first round, it's right? not his fault. What you mean? So if right now with Kawhi, so right now with Kawhi, so right now with Kawhi, so right now with Kawhi, if he gives you that same performance, you got nobody's gonna beat them. He That's lost his team. Bro. I disagree. Mm -hmm. The Clippers are very if you're not gonna get that performance. The Clippers yeah. are very deep, my brother. <laughs> but I mean, they're they're right right now. They're they're deep. Deep, man. To me, the Clippers are the best D in the West. They, they are they're deep. deep. They're deep. But I yeah, think they, they play defense. What you say, Mister Williams? Too deep, though. The Clippers nah, play nah, defense, nah, nah. man. They play remember, defense to me in the West. You got to remember too. Nah, they get we in. just had a restart. That means that we we out of the norm. Now you know you know who I still play. With the yeah, so was, this is my question to all of y'all. Oh, go ahead. Who's y'all sleeper team then? If y'all all going Lakers and I'm Clippers, hold on, I'm Clippers. I'm Clippers. And in the East, Houston. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna say that I love Boston, right? Because my boy is Jalen Brown over there in that East, really. Mm -hmm. But I gotta mm -hmm. I gotta roll with my boys. Um, I'm gonna roll with the Heat just because because you know I'm, I'm a, I've been a Heat fan for so long and and I like what they're doing right now. If they all step up and do their part, and they ain't been doing it so far the way I think they should, but if they step up and they come together and they play the way they've been playing as a team, they might surprise some people. So I'm just gonna ride with them in the East. But I know Jalen, he gonna turn it up another another notch. You know what I'm saying? Because that's my dude, Jalen Brown. I love the way he played. Yeah. But now sleeper team, and I'm gonna go first. Because my sleeper team, uh, of course, Phoenix was was a sleeper for everybody. But my sleeper <laughs> team right now is OKC, y'all. I love what mm -hmm. OKC does. Uh, they play together. Chris yeah, Paul yeah, got yeah. those boys playing out of control. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they showing me something that I didn't even see when Westbrook was there. So that's my sleeper team. Mm -hmm. uh, y'all can go ahead on. And, and where are you first? Let's first. Let's see your sleeper team. My sleeper team is uh, Houston. I, 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 I'm yeah. Can't stop Harden. Harden is a score. I love the dog in Westbrook. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're playing small ball. They're gonna make you play play fast tempo, and it, I, you're gonna bring you can bring uh Anthony outside. He's not a big guy. He's not Shaq. I like I like uh Houston though. But you brought up a good point. Uh, OKC. The leadership of Chris Paul is is something scary. Um, shoot, Portland is is I don't yeah I don't know about the seven games with Portland though. They'll, they'll give you <laughs> seven games. My, my strong one going to be Houston, man. It just depends on who stay the healthiest. And uh, mm -hmm. Portland is not that deep. They're not as deep as everybody else, really. Yeah, that's you the only what thing. I'm saying? They're not that deep. So it's, well, they, they rely too much on Lillard. You know what I'm saying? If Lillard yeah, hit, 
he's shooting 30 footers. I'm going to give him that and I'm going to double him all night. You know what I'm saying? When I was coaching, I'm doubling him all night. I don't care what it takes. And I'm talking about from, from one end to the other end. I'm doubling him all night. So yeah. he wouldn't be my he wouldn't be my sleeper team. I'm going with uh okay. See uh Fago. Even though I said the Clippers going all the way, I have uh Dallas. I like Przingis out there. Luca, man, that, that man Luca is a monster, man. Uh very skilled, very mature for his young age. He's 21. Um, throwing some nice assists, and he's very mature with you know reading the defense. Um, so I have to go with Dallas as being the sleeper team. I think they're going to put the Clippers um, if they get to that next round. Hold on. Do they play the Clippers in this round, if I'm not yeah. mistaken? Yeah. yeah. They done. I think- they done, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> they done. No, they're going to go with game six. Yeah, tell them, James. <laughs> man, this dude doing a lot of talking not to be here. Right? <laughs> James, I five, I he's a Dallas fan, but uh, what team is he? He like too. Since when? Was he game with Kwan, um when uh, when we had Smush Parker? Nah, he been, he always been like he die hard. He die hard. Uh, he I bet, hard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he a die hard. <laughs> All right, Chuck. Uh, Sleeper. Um. My sleeper team is actually I, – I, I think I'm going to go with Portland for, for this. Wow. For this the, sleeper, the, sleeper, that's, the sleeper team is because this is the first time in how long that they've actually had everybody at one time healthy. Dame has had to do so much and put out so much energy without these guys and still was able to almost go, you know, the Eastern Conference Finals, second rounds by himself. Now he has Nurkic, who's giving you 20-20. He has Zach Collins, who's a two-way player. Gary Trent hits the three ball. Uh, mm-hmm. He has that. What now? What's gonna hurt them is not having Trevor Ariza. That hurts. That hurts a lot. That hurts a mm-hmm. whole lot. But their issue is they have to tighten up on the defensive end, on the defensive side of the ball. Offensively, they can hang with anybody. But if they click defensively, they're gonna be a problem for anybody. Anybody. Well, they, so, they're a little bit. They're not deep enough, and uh, mm-hmm. they they're getting into deep water when it comes to big men. Now they're gonna play a, the big men that's good as them. Good as Nuri. Nur- they're gonna be playing big men just as good as him, so he's not gonna be a uh, he's not gonna be a factor when it comes down to that because the big men gonna be a, gonna be playing against him gonna be just as good or better. So I'm not worried about him, Mister Mister Ray. I mean, I wish I knew how healthy Westbrook was. I don't really know. I know Chuck not big on him, but I just feel like the way they shoot threes, you're never out of a game. But uh, I'm a, I, I gotta go with Denver. Uh, I really like what I seen oh, from yeah. Denver in the bubble. Uh, you got Bobo, who's a wild card. You got uh, MJP, who's playing. Was it MPJ? Oh, it's MPJ. MPJ, MPJ that's, playing, that's playing pretty good basketball right now. You never know what you can get from Jamal Moran. And I really like Jokic. I feel like Jokic right now is the most consistent mm-hmm. big man in the league. I, I think Embiid is the best, but I think Jokic is more consistent because Embiid is stomach hurt this game. So hurt that game. Back <laughs> <laughs> hurt this game. Back <laughs> hurt next game. Like, I, I need him to get it together. And I love him, B, but he, he got to get it together. But I, I think for right now, I got to go with Denver. And in the East, I got to – I like Indiana. Okay. I like that, I like that three-guard attack. Uh, TJ Warren, uh, Oladipo, and uh, Malcolm Brogdon. So. They too small. Um, I like I like that. I like that you're picking that team. Uh, eh, they, they, they're not going too far. Go ahead, Eric. Well, Tyrus, <laughs> took, he took mine. I was very surprised that everybody was going through and no one was talking about Bobo and, you know, talking about Grant and MPJ. Denver is definitely my sleeper team because for that simple fact, everybody's so concentrated and focused on the Lakers and the Clippers that, I'm sorry, correct me if I'm wrong, ain't the number three seed Denver? Like, you you, you yeah, got to that. The Clippers in the second round. The right. second round, they're so, out of here. Okay. I don't know, man. They got a lot of size, bro. They're not beating the right. Clippers. They're not beating the Clippers. Y'all come on, man. No, I'm, not, okay. I'm not saying that. It, I'm not saying that it is or it's not going to happen. What I'm saying is, we're talking about sleepers. Expect the unexpected. Being in right. this bubble, everybody had four and a half months to get themselves prepared. So now everybody's on that level playing field. I got to give Denver their props of where they're at and saying. They have an opportunity to shock some people. So yeah, Denver definitely. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a great team though, because Jokic is is a beast, man. He remind me of the Larry Bird, but a little bit better, if you ask me. Well, Larry Bird is one of my top five, so I can't really say a little bit better yet because he's not there yet. <laughs> Larry right. Bird is great, so he's in the top fifty, so I can't say that, but uh, yeah. he's very crafty, 
Very, yeah, very, very impressive. And they, and they, they got a three-head monster over there. But I see that none of y'all say Utah yet. Uh, I see Fago that went to sleep nah, and watched it. <laughs> went to sleep it. too. So <laughs> tell me what's, what's going on. <laughs> Go ahead, all right, sorry, guys. So I, I love all these takes and picks. And I will say, as much as I want to pick Portland, because I'm playing with momentum, I don't think we can discount momentum. When you're going in after a game like that, you have the hype behind you. You did what anybody, what everybody said that you couldn't do. But I, I like Dallas. I like Dallas a lot offensively. I think their biggest problem is defensively. They have to show up. And even free throw shooting, they have to show up. It's like the small things they need to get together. But what Luca is going to do in Dallas He's exciting, exciting, mm -hmm. exciting to watch. And if somebody talked about Oladipo earlier. I think my only thing with him and why I didn't pick that team is because I'm not sure if he's 100%. Yeah. I don't know if he's giving – if he's 100%, that's a scary, scary, scary I, I don't scary think so. Team. I don't think Wait, he's 100%. I don't think he's 100%. Uh, he's 100%. And that's the problem. That's the problem. Yeah. One thing I do want to say is uh, Mr. Williams said it best. It's about having that championship pedigree. Luca and Porzingis, they're going to get it this season, next season. So they're the future. So I can't really call them the sleeper and say they're the team that's going to be the one to surprise a lot of people. But in the next three to five, they stay together. Oh, that's yeah. Dallas all, team. all day. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know what? Every year, it, it differs every year. And uh, right now, I think the NBA is at, at the greatest level of talent on each team that they've been in a long, long time. Since probably in the Bill Russells in them days. They've never mm -hmm. had team, so many teams that have so much talent. So I'm I'm really I'm really excited about the talent that everybody has on their team. Uh, I'm, man, it's unbelievable what these kids is doing today. So the the league the league is in good hands. Go ahead, Mar. You know, I, on on that note, I find it interesting that the West. It, it's so funny you see teams out of the West winning 39, 40 games and getting in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. I remember yeah. Marvin played with I remember Marvin played with Utah and they won forty games. And they were home sleep. <laughs> you, you know, back in, the, back in the West, you have to win. If you win 50, 55 games, you might have a chance getting the playoff. Now that's you got you got teams making the playoff with thirty nine wins, thirty eight yep. wins. That's a that's that's crazy. That means that the West isn't as strong as it used to be. I, I mean, my sleeper probably gonna be. I, I'm gonna have to go. I like 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 Kelsey said. I love watching Dallas. Dallas problem is I don't like they said their their defense. They they can score as many points as they give up. Yep. So, so yep. I would probably go with. I love watching Dallas, but I'll probably go with Devin myself in the in the West, and I'll probably go with Miami. That's gonna be the the, the team to watch in, in in the East. I think they're gonna squeak out some wins. And I think they're gonna give somebody a handful. They may not be in it long, but I think who, if they're on, if if Miami is on like they normally are, that's because somebody will have their hands full. Y'all ain't give Utah no credit. No, y'all ain't give no. nobody else no credit. No. First round, they out of here. Yeah, let's get deep. Let's get deep. Let's go. Uh, who's gonna be uh, the rookie of the year? Is obvious. I, I say yeah. John Morant. It has to be John. Yeah, yeah. 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 absolutely. Everybody agree absolutely. on that? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's, he's I mean, who else did you give it to? Who else could uh, you give it? Who else could you give it to? We know Zion does not deserve it, right? <laughs> right. I mean, the only reason why Ja, the only reason why Ja is really getting it is because he's he's in the playoff the longest, really. Because Kendrick Nunn stepped up this year and did his thing. To be yeah. frankly, yeah. so it's it's kind of tossed up for me if it, if he had a if he had a fell out and wasn't in the playoff, I don't know. I probably would have went with Nunn because he mm -hmm. put he put up some numbers. This year, do you know, like Dame so, the MVP? Huh? Do y'all like Dame being the MVP? You think it should have yeah. been Devin Booker? No. No, Dame no, no. I, 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 you know what? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's a toss up. It, no, no, no. Denver, that's a toss up. Uh, Booker got knocked out. So if you right. get knocked out, that's Count what it means. You. you got knocked out. That's what it means. <laughs> I mean, so. Come on, man. Ain't it over? Ain't it over? Yeah. Ball. Nobody's seen it coming. But y'all gotta always think that an MVP is always a regular season award. And yeah. if they went eight, if they went eight and zero before the play playoffs, I mean that's big. And yeah, he averaged thirty. Yeah. I mean right. that's that's yeah. pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. Hey, I yeah, want to yeah. see what they gonna come back with. That's what right. I want to see because if they come right. that good, I want to see when they come yeah. back. It's do gonna be exciting. Was, do you think it was a coming out party, or you think they just they just ain't no? They just, they just hit, hit it at the right time. Here's I think the, the coach got them. I, I think the coach got them playing like there's no tomorrow. We're a team, and let's play as a team. And that's the number one thing when you're a coach. Now I coach girls and I coach boys at, at the high school level. You you have to have a team playing all together. 
to win. You know what I'm saying? It's not about – it really don't matter to win. I like the fact if you play defense, that's all I want to see. You play defense. Right. Then, right. You know what I'm saying? You know, the interesting it's, thing, too, people aren't paying attention to, Booker changed his game. Yeah. Nobody yeah. knows yeah. that. Yeah. 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 The second yeah. half of the year, Booker has changed his game, and because he's changed his game, they're winning more games. Right. right. It used to be the first part of the year, he was a straight – that's the guy to go to score, score, score. Right. Then all of a sudden, as he, it's like he matured. Mm -hmm. And then he started distributing the ball and understanding and make the right plays and win the score. Absolutely. So I think that's like how he changed his game. But Mr. Wade, got good work. Work. Kobe is all over him. Kobe and Prance is all over him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. 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 It is. Well, Mr. Yeah. Wade, something you said that I, I definitely want to touch on is the fact that, you know, when you look at the Suns, they got an invitation to come to the bubble. No one expected them to do mm -hmm. much of anything. It's the so when you have great. that. It's simple about that. Right. When you have that free and loose mentality and right. you're just able to not focus on anything but the game, which is what everybody's doing, right. it took them to that second level. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think they were successful because they was like, listen, even if we do go eight, no, there is a zero point zero zero one percent chance we go get in. Right. So let's just go have fun. And you right. saw what happened once they did that. Right. But I'm like right. you. Let's see what Phoenix does the first part of next season, because yeah. if they keep this momentum going, then I think we're going to be talking about them a lot more. Yeah, they're one piece, they're one piece away, I think. One piece away. Yeah, what nah, they 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 pretty good where they at right now. They they whole team is floating. They flowing together. So they ain't really they're missing too much right now. Mm -hmm. Phoenix looks great. What they missing though? What I think they need like? a. I think I think they need another wing player, like a like a stretch the floor type play. They they have some people that can shoot it, but they don't have like like I pretty much like a JJ Redick or somebody I of that the nature. Guys they got mm -hmm. just, you know what I'm saying? I think they sure, need something. I think like I think the guys they got are young. I really like the way Cam, yep. Cam Johnson played. I mean, I think they don't Kelly Kelly Oubre still there, right? Yeah, he hurt. You get Oubre back, you got Cam Johnson. Like, I really like their team. Aiton is Aiton is nice. Is way better yeah. than what I thought he was. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 surprised me too. Yeah. I mean, he's like a poor man's version of Dwight Howard right now. Yeah, but yeah. you know what? You know, he might get better. Um <laughs> I don't like about Phoenix, and Phoenix did a great job. I don't like that they – now, one thing I do like about them is as soon as the ball is rebound by the other team, they back. Mm -hmm. Everybody is back. Mm -hmm. That's a good sign. But the only thing I don't like is when they get back, they go into a zone, and they get sand feet, you know, quick sand feet. So, okay. whew, they just be standing around, and people just blow right past them. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's the only thing I don't like about them right now. So they got to learn to play defense with their feet. They got to learn to move yeah. more. When they did learn you, that, they'll be they'll be a better team. Did you notice uh, that Milwaukee was playing the zone? In the too? Who who y'all got coach yeah. of the year? Because uh, I got Donovan. Yep, I agree. I agree. Yeah, same here. Same here. Yeah, I, I got to go with Nick Nurse. Why because is that? No, because no what one expected Kawhi? Toronto. No. Because exactly, Kawhi left, and everybody just thought Toronto. Okay, they got their okay. one championship. Uh -huh. Let's move on. Yeah. Nick Nurse was like, "No, no, you're not gonna forget about us. We are still the champions." It wasn't Kawhi Leonard NBA champions. It was the Toronto Raptors are NBA champions. Can I say oh, something? Who, 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 yeah. I say something real quick, the reason the reason I say I, I picked Donovan is because if you think about it, even without Kawhi, the Raptors have been doing this every year, even when they didn't have Kawhi. Mm -hmm. Right. They have yeah. always been a top team. Team yeah. every uh -huh. year. They're not, they're not doing nothing different that they haven't been doing. But like, like he said, nobody now nobody saw AK OKC being this successful. Right. Like, right. Even with Chris Paul, ain't nobody seen being this successful. Right. Okay. All right. Nobody didn't see that. So that well, they should, they they should give coach of the year to Chris Paul instead of Donovan. He should be in the MVP talk, though. I mean, yeah, he should that. be He's coach phenomenal. of the year. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Think about it. I think he had to perform because we all know what happened when he found out he was going there and then to go yeah. there and do what he did. Yeah. Chris Paul, yeah. again, just yeah. phenomenal play. And like you said, nobody expected OKC to do that. No. So it's hard to no, take it away from did the first part of the year. No, actually, <laughs> OKC had a team. They, they Westbrook was just playing above them and they couldn't bring, put it all together. Now, mm -hmm. uh, Chris Paul is a team player. Not only is he a team player, Chris Paul was hurt for the last three years. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He yeah. kept having that same injury over and over and over. This year he's been healthy the whole year. And then with that layoff, he even got more time to get healthy. So now mm -hmm. he can lead that team into the playoff and see what he can do. So I, I look for them to be, you know, real good. So uh six man, what y'all got with the six man? Y'all know it's uh who is it? It's Lou Williams, 
Pharrell and I think Schroeder. I think Schroeder. I got I got uh Montreal. I think Montreal. Yeah, Montreal. I, I'm Montreal. Montreal. Lights out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah I got Montreal. Yeah. Everybody? Montreal, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm on I'm on the fence on that one. Give though. me Schroeder. I got Schroeder. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Ain't nobody, not, don't nobody do it good. better than Lou Williams, y'all. I don't care what y'all say. Lou Williams is every night out that type of player that you want to see. When I was raising my son, I told my son, yeah, you know, he didn't have a jump shot. So he had everything but a jump shot. I was like, yeah, you can win games, but are you getting better every game? Do you do things different when you go out there? Lou Williams is the same type of ball player that I was instilling in Dwayne. Like, you got to get better. You got to be better than the next person. You cannot slow down because you got money, fame, fortune, girls. You can't, you can't slow down. You got to continue to get better and better if you want to be great. And whoever knew he was going to become a great player? Like, I never had – I even think he could jump this high at first. So, to get to the, <laughs> the world, like, yo. So, uh, every night out. Lou William gives me that that I am gonna be a great player every night, and I'm coming off the bench. So I love that. I love his drive, and uh, I pick Lou Williams. Yeah, okay. I know. Yeah. I think. I think. I think with Lou. I think my thing with Lou is, and the reason I I gave my trails like an edge. My trail's a dog, defense and offense. Like when they, because you know everybody's playing that small ball now, so you can't just go like he's he's a smaller five. Like he can play that five position and that four position, and I think he's defensively, good. rebounding, uh, offensively. Now he's scoring nineteen a game. I mean, he's giving you everything. I think at times Lou is kind of a liability on D at times. You know, yeah, but this is his first. Year. This is this is his first year doing it like that at that level, though, bro. So when you're in your first year, you're a rookie. Lou Williams is doing it for years, and he plays yeah. defense just as good as anybody. And mm-hmm. he's and he's not he's not crying like Allen Iverson. Over there because he's sitting over there. Oh, you gonna go after that? Hey, come on, oh, man. Here we go. Here we go. I'm sorry, Eric. Here we go. Did you say that? I knew it. Oh, I knew some way, somehow. Keep it real, Eric. He ain't crying about being the six man. Oh, man. Yeah. Practice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, who y'all got? Who y'all got for most approved player? That's a hard oh, most approved? I mean, oh. mm. Mello, Mello. Hands down. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Carmelo. Yeah. Mello, Mello, you lost weight. You slimmed Carmelo. down, and you made yourself a uh, people oh, reminded oh, people. Oh, yeah, oh, Carmelo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Carmelo. Oh, what did you say, I Mr. White? Too hot on y'all. He, said <laughs> he said most approved. He said most approved? Yeah. 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 Mello ain't a finalist, though. So we picking out the finalists, right? Now, most improved player for over the year, really. I got, I, got Devontae, I got Devontae Graham. He went from four points to 18. Are you? I mean, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, I don't think nobody's Devontae seen that Graham? I don't think nobody's I don't think nobody's seen that coming for Charlotte. Oh, yeah. In Charlotte? Fair point. D no, Charlotte. No, 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 no. <laughs> First of all, you gotta remember this. There's there's always a leading square on a losing team. No, but the, 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 <laughs> they gave him free reign to throw the shot. He seen, he learned from the best. Think about this. I watched this for five, six years. He learned that from coming in, falling behind on uh, uh, Kimba. Kimba come mm-hmm. down, jack it up. Then when Kimba goes to the bench, he come in, jack it up. So, but, of course, but, he go, I mean, I don't see him as the most improved because, I mean, he, it, that's been his game the whole time he's been there. So, I I, I, I mean, you talking about a guy who came in, yeah, because he was a rookie and they didn't give him the, 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 you know, the playing time. That he probably should have got as a rookie, but yeah, for him, I mean, to me, I don't see him the most improved like that. But, but I mean, you're talking about a 14 point improvement, though. Yeah, but that's, look what, what the team but that's, that's one on. aspect. You know what? That's... Y'all put me to sleep. Who y'all talking about? You <laughs> 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 don't know who the best is. Y'all tripping, man. Oh, let's back it up. Let's back it up. But who, who Graham? Yeah, but if you go out the finalists, I got Brandon Ingram, though. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you from? Kinston, North Carolina. That's your problem, right there. So it's only it's only three people in it though, and and Bam out of bio is one. Oh yeah, he's from Ingram. If if I was y'all, I would stick to your guns and go with either Bam or Ingram. 
because they the two that's putting out and they and they consistent about it. Graham has not been consistent. This is his first year showing up. Come on, guy, stop giving the torch to people because they're gonna burn themselves. A lot but, of these guys ain't gonna last more than one year. Yeah, yeah but it, that's what I'm saying. But the next year, yeah. it's more cars and yeah. they're gonna be out driving their cars before they get through playing. So come on. Yeah. <laughs> I, love that, I love that you said Bam though, because not enough people were talking about Bam Adebayo and what he was doing. Think about it. How many of y'all were talking about Bam? Before prior to this season, not many. He's been such an important. He's underrated. You probably underrated, and he's been such an important piece of that team. And I think as of late, of course, he wanted to see more. But when he was starting out, especially in the bubble, we were all very pleased and very happy with what he's doing. And then, of course, if you have a most improved of the bubble, T.J. Warren's just been yeah, I mean, yeah, incredible. Indiana, yeah, incredible, yeah. incredible. Yeah. Oh, he from the Durham. Yeah, he from Durham. I'm so mad at Bam. Listen, I'm so mad at Bam because uh, Bam from Bam from around the corner. We, we got, we got, we got, we got. <laughs> 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 Zion, you know, South Carolina, the best, you know. <laughs> South Carolina, I'm saying. Hey, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give my nod uh, to most improved. I'm gonna give my nod to Ingram. Uh, even though Bam has done it, this is Bam's second year improving. Ingram has been improving for three years, so. He's yeah. the veteran. I'm gonna give it to Ingram because he's the veteran. How do y'all feel? How do y'all feel about them making putting Luca as a finalist as most improved? How do y'all how do y'all feel about that? Actually, he's not uh, uh in the finals as most improved. He's in the finalist as MVP. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, he's he's, 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 he's a finalist yeah. for most improved. It's him, it's him, Bam, and uh and Ingram. Because me, we were just talking about this the other day. I'm trying to figure out why they like they got him in there. I, I mean, he's he been playing since he's been in the league. league. Yeah, but he's he, doing he the same thing. He's been like almost thirty, though. He was. You got to remember, he's been playing. He's been playing them other, them other tournaments overseas for for fourteen years. Right, right. <laughs> mm -hmm. you know I was just, I was just surprised. Him, they, I was surprised they put him in because I felt like he should have. I think he was worthy of an MVP. You know, in the MVP discussion. So to put him in most improved, I felt like it was a little weird. So, but so well, we like, got the league felt they had to give him some. The MVP of the season. Who has it been? Ooh. LeBron James. There you go. Yes, <laughs> really. You, yeah, you, you, you smoke, throw LeBron out there like that. That's that. That's what we say every week. That's what we say every week. He expect me to just go. I'm a Lakers fan. Just go with. I got y'all. I got y'all. I got Giannis. I'm just joking, man. I got y'all. MVP. MVP. I mean, yeah, Giannis. We got Giannis. I gotta see if Giannis. But I tell you what, he got some. He got some competition. I like Giannis, but I think a Lillard, man. I don't know. No, he's not. I don't know. Sorry, you talking about? Let's be honest now. Portland, Portland ain't that good. Who? Portland ain't Portland ain't that good. They went to the Western Conference Finals last year. Yeah, but look who carried them though. Look who that's carried them. Silence. And again, that's why that's and again that's why my that's why my sleeper. If he did that with nobody, them boys right. them boys might be they might be able to do something with everybody. Oh, that's, that's why I said in my sleeper. I just think I think I'm gonna go with Giannis, but I do think uh, Lillard need to be in a conversation. And why you why you pick Giannis? Lillard ain't in the conversation. Well, I think he should be. <laughs> he like I, <laughs> I mean, you got to think about he, that dude. See, the problem with people with Lillard is Lillard's been in the West for so long in Portland, and nobody gets to watch him play. If he's doing the same thing on the East Coast team, he would be in a conversation every day. You see what I'm saying? Well, he got next year to, to, to step huh? up again. <laughs> no, I think I, I'm, I'm gonna go with Giannis, but I think Lillard should be in the conversation. James Hart, James Hart, Hart yeah. Hart. I mean, I'm gonna be real with you. I really like Giannis. I think Giannis should get it, but I, I we got we gotta talk about some, the, these things that Harden doing, man. Harden is, I mean, you can say he jacking up shots, you can say he walking, you can say he taking five steps. Here's the deal. He yeah. average 34 three years and over 30. Yeah, well, here's the resume on him. He only plays in regular season. He goes. Just, he disappears go. in the playoffs. I'm to average 25 and 10 in regular season. Get playoff. me to the third or fourth round of averaging 30. And Ray, you, you better, better not never pick play again if you say hard. Uh, no, I didn't mean, say hard. I, I said he got to be some credit given to what he's doing. Uh, like, 
Like the man, I mean, the, the man does what he does. Do I think he should play? He should play more defense, of course. But his other yeah. guys, <laughs> ain't little, yeah. I mean, I'm just being real. The but the defense side is why you have to be honest. I mean, he plays on yeah. both sides of the he floor. Plays Giannis gives his all every yeah. single game. We're seeing a superstar give 150 uh, percent every mm -hmm. single game. Like, I Giannis is agree with you. I agree with you. Giannis is the biggest superstar of of the of the four of them, really. Other than I mean Harden. But I think Giannis is bigger because he plays bigger. And he gives you every night out. So, so you, you think he's the best player in the league? I think, huh? You think he's the best player in the league right now? He's, he's the most gifted athlete in the league. How about that? Now, oh, he was that so aggressive with that. But I, keep most, I keep telling. I keep telling. His, I, his I, athletic I, ability. Yeah. Is, is, he's the biggest, the biggest dude that's playing like, you know, he's a little dude, really. Like yeah, Chris, Paul, yeah, Chris Paul is one of the best. You know, athletic wise, Chris Paul. So when you look at the big man at seven foot, yeah, he's athletic for real, and he's about the best at it. But the truth is, I still think he got another year to go, and I would give it to LeBron. I'm with you. I'm with you, Mr. White. Chuck, I don't see no comment from you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you was talking about that KB Kawhi. Uh, uh, what's the other dude name? Well, no, Steph Curry from Charlotte. I can't say nothing bad about him. Chris Paul from Winston Salem. I can't say nothing bad about him. <laughs> so, uh, now that we got down to that, what do y'all think about uh, the Spurs, man? They I love they lost them. everybody. They almost made it to the playoff. They won five championships over twenty two years. They was in the playoff. Man, is is the coach the reason why, or is they just you know? Is it just that they they get the better picks? What what is it? With Great, it's, it's, it's the it's the Great scout. Pop is Coach Pop? Yeah, I love oh, what yeah. Coach Pop is definitely doing. It's that system. I um, mean, he's drafting guys that you know nobody's seen or heard of. I um, mean, everybody they just play their role. There's no superstar out there. Everybody's just a role players, and they come together and act as a team. Yeah, I think it's the I think it's the coach, but I think it's the culture. I think Pop yeah. has has laid down a great. A great culture down there. He got, he got those guys to really buy in, man. Like he he got them buying in like a college team. Yeah, because really. he ain't buy because he ain't buying none of them. <laughs> <laughs> they just buy in because he ain't buying none of them. <laughs> and I think I think that's what it is. I think everybody wants to play for him. You know his his resume and his reputation precedes himself. So mm. when you get the opportunity to go play for a Popovich, you know that he's setting you up for success from day one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Cause I know I was I was hurt, man. I ain't gonna lie. I want I wanted them to make the playoffs just because they always make it. I ain't even. I, I didn't want Phoenix, Portland. I didn't really want them. I wanted the Spurs to make it because I felt like that streak, like is is it, they earned that. You know what I'm saying? And, and the position they was in this year with pretty much having nobody, I honestly just wanted them to make the AFC or the night. They, they, they played good though. Yeah, they, they played, did. Yeah, they did. They did. Yeah, they did. They did. Yeah. If they'd have always, they would have been in the mix. I so who who's the who's the youngest the young team that has the best talent? Is it Memphis or is it Phoenix? Phoenix, 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 Phoenix. 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 Memphis. Oh no, you said Memphis, Memphis or Phoenix? Talent? I like I, I like talent. New Orleans personally. I was just about New to say Orleans? that New Orleans has the best I, talent. I, I, I think if Zion get him a a, a dietitian, you know, I, I kind of do that Zion. So you know, you can call so call you know, him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I get but, you right. But, but, uh, but the right. Pelicans, the Pelicans aren't necessarily really young like that, though, are they? Only person, yeah. only no, not like that. Not like you, that. They really got a couple guys that have like that. They, right. have, they have older guys or people that have been in the league for a little while. You got, you got two guys. Zion, that are, Ingram been in what four years? No, you got Drew Holiday yeah. and you got JJ Reddick. Drew Holiday been playing a long time. I, I, how they been playing a while? Two people, right. two people right. out okay, of the two people. people. Well, man, roster, Brandon got, Ingram they, they too. Been a long time. You got a lot I of guys. He been in the league for what three, four years now. Oh, yeah, but he's like me that's too. Not, that's not a that's not a, a seasoned vet though. And then uh, hey, think about this: they, they, they now they're gonna they they about to get a new coach too, right? They got yeah. the best. Yeah, they have yeah. all the yeah. they have. That's like so enticing for a coach with all that talent surrounded around there. But what? I, but you gotta look at it like this: Brandon Ingram would, would still be a senior in college. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's, not, that's not the that age of you. Okay, but look, okay, okay. Well, we're playing in the league though. When you look at this, he's him. still a young player. Yeah, yeah but what you're still a young player to me. When you, you look at Memphis and Phoenix, 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 everybody's everybody pretty much player. fresh in. Everybody. Right. Yeah, yeah, but that's what you said. Who? When you look Suns. at Phoenix and Memphis, pretty much oh, everybody's like almost fresh in, like the league. 
They I'm telling you right now, if you look at the Phoenix Suns roster, the oldest person on that team is 33. Everybody else on that team is under 30. They right. are young. They are fresh. Mm -hmm. They hungry. So yep. that's why I'm saying Phoenix is it like, and as Mr. Wade said, we got to see what they do come next season. Because right. was this eight game trip? Was this just a hiccup? Was it a blip? Was it because they had the time off? If they continue that course, that's that young team we're going to be talking about. That's why I say Phoenix. And they, they got a lot of different kind of young, too. Sacramento they young. There you go, Sacramento. Sacramento I forgot yeah. about Brooklyn out there. I'm, Chicago I'm, I'm, young. Chicago yeah. young. Chicago, yeah. Chicago is young, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, Did we I'm, talk about defensive player of the year? Uh, no, we didn't. We didn't talk about defensive player of the year yet. That's Who a tough got? Oh man, that's tough. Yeah, who you got? I don't know. Yeah, that's a good one. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. it's Anthony yeah, Davis. Yeah. It's Anthony Davis, Giannis, and Gobert. Yeah, I got Giannis. Giannis. I, I just feel yeah. like he's doing it on both sides. Yeah, yeah. I'll go with Giannis. Giannis is a problem on defense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a problem, he problem on defense. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think Giannis. Should deserves it, but I think they're going to give it to AD because Giannis is going to get MVP. Yeah, yeah. So I think right. they're going to get. I think they're going to give it to no Davis, point. even. But I feel like Giannis right. should get it. But I think right. they're going to give it to Davis. Yeah. Okay, we'll see about that. <laughs> Does that. Has anybody ever done that before? MVP. Yeah, Jordan. 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 Okay. Jordan. 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 We know Jordan. No count. Jordan. No count. Hey, it's been so long. Oh, you forgot about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Jordan, Jordan did it like his third or fourth year in the league, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. Jarrell, I want to thank you, man, for getting my uh, name spelled right. A lot of people messed my name up. If I saw that it was messed hey. up, you would have got it earlier in the show. Hey, you act like I don't know who you are, man. We got it. <laughs> you don't even know, man, what I go through, man. Everybody messes it up. Everywhere. Social security, you name it. Everybody messes it up, man. Hey. Look at my, my last name, name Mr. Wade. Card. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. He slipped. He, he slipped. <laughs> hey, look. Hey, look. No, hey, now you got we we deep now. It's Hess look. But, but Hess. we the same. Oh, hell. Hess. 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 <laughs> hey, look. Nobody, nobody never say my name right. I just stopped correcting it. I start calling you Ray because I ain't know to call you Tigers or what. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm like Ray. So what's up? Yeah, <laughs> uh, Bible. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, okay. I know this is off the subject, man. Uh, we didn't got down to uh, probably the bottom of the show or whatever. Uh, I just want to see what you guys, what you guys feel about uh, Kamala Harris uh, being the vice mm. president, uh, a nominee for Biden. Um, after so many things that she's done uh, to mm. our our black kids, our black youths, uh, she's put so many blacks in jail. I don't I don't really see how she could take a seat when the world should be looking at her her record. Now, don't mm. get me wrong. What is it, the CSN or whatever she's mm. uh, she's mm. uh, a part of? She does a great job for it. But as far as our black youth, she's done a terrible job of putting mm. us away. So how do y'all feel about her being seated uh, mm. alongside Biden? I, 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 I agree with you. And I have been telling a lot of people about that as well. However, I feel like Joe Biden is using um, Kamala Harris as more so of uh, a plan to get the black vote. Everything we're like as African-Americans, we are always trending as, you know, uh, uh, being promoted and not being equalized as humans and as well as, you know, being being equal to a white person. And it's at the end of the day, this was a diverse nomination as far as getting presidents. But all it is is like white on white. But at the end of the day, that still is a black woman. It's a black woman. Black woman getting scrutinized by society all the goddamn going time. So mm -hmm. even if she does win, it's representation that a lot of black women see. All right, Figo, mm -hmm. I'm going to go with you on that one for a minute. But here's what I'm going to say first. If you want to put some real change in the White House, and if Joe Biden wanted to make a real impact, in my opinion, mm -hmm. then you go get Keisha Bottoms. That's what you go do. Mm -hmm. And that was who I wanted him to pick as his running mate. I take nothing away from Miss Harris and what she has done in her position. And I get with everything you're saying. We have to start showing that there is diversity on all levels. because That's the only way we're going to see change. But for me personally, if you wanted to make that really 
hard hitting, instant impact, you go grab the mayor of Georgia. Okay, we talking about southern states, a woman who has made dramatic change, not mm -hmm. only in her state, uh -huh. but just yeah. her name. And you put her on that ticket. Yeah. That to me would have not only got the black vote, it would have got the woman vote. It would have got all the minority votes. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you that that if you would have put Biden bottoms. That to me would have been signed, sealed, delivered. Let's go. Right. Yeah, but right. Right. Kamala Harris being in there, I appreciate it. I look at it, and this is just me being the cynical individual that I can be at times. If you can't beat them, then you hire them. And that's what I feel he did. Uh, yeah. yeah, I know. I know for me, uh, I, I do agree. He, he, may, he may, may could have picked a better candidate. But the issue I have is I see a lot of people saying that they're not going to vote now that she's running. They don't want to vote for Trump. They don't want to vote for her. You know, it's not necessarily Biden, but it's her. They don't want to vote for Kamala Harris. They don't want to vote for Trump. So I, I see people saying they're not going to vote. And to me, that bothers me because now you, you just pretty much, if you're not going to vote for, for Biden, then, you're pretty much voting for Trump. So it's like, right. Right. we can't complain about this and that, but then we're not doing nothing. There's no secondary, uh, there's no third independent candidate that like a, uh, I don't know, a great yeah, person. Is. What you Ooh. talking about, Kanye West? Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, hey, boy, you go easy, boy. Nah, easy, easy. Hey, hey, look. Only thing, it's emotional, only, bro. Only thing Yeezy need to do is keep making shoes. He don't need to do nothing. He nah, he nah. He he, he can't no. He, he couldn't be my uh mayor. No, not no Yeezy. But uh, um, hey. that young lady that just made that comment is is exactly. on my uh is on my pro pops team. She's uh, my 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 nation coordinator, and uh, wow. she's from North Dur Durham, North Carolina. She just made that comment right there. Dr. Beverly oh. Key, thank yeah. you. That was okay, a great thank point. you. Cool. Well, let me jump I, in this I mean, as a Oh, go ahead, Mr. I, Williams. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think I think I well, agree with you guys. Man. My my issue with Kamala Miss Harris is the 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 aspect of her putting all those black men in jail. That's the only issue I got with her. I'm glad to see a black person in office, and I think. What I do think in the long term, I think Biden will represent what America's supposed to look like. I think he'll hire minorities. I think he'll hire, he'll have people in the White House who aren't all white. And I think that's what America, as a veteran, speaking as a veteran, I think that's what America's missing. We, 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 we all claim to be diversified and we all used to love immigrants, but now immigrants are enemies. You know what I mean? So I think we need to go back to where it was, where we, it was a diverse America. That's what built America. That's what made America great. It wasn't just the white men, even though they take all the credit. It was it was Asians who it was Chinese mm -hmm. people who was working on the trains. It was blacks who were slaves. It, it was house. It was Asian house people. You know, it was immigrants working in houses. So I think if he can, if Biden can get a panel of mixed races and show America what this is what America's about, I, I think I'll be satisfied with it. And, and, I, and but I do think I do think, huh? I was just gonna say I didn't, I didn't interrupt you. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, I was just going to say, that's my whole point. My whole point is, I just want there to be someone who looks like me Correct. at the table. That's right. it. Right. Absolutely. 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 Yeah. Now, now, I think we, we, we missed it. It's like this question is so layered and so crazy because, first of all, Biden, and, from the preliminaries, he was getting handed. I, he wasn't even my first choice. But I would mm -hmm. rather have Biden in the White House than Trump with these, you know, this yeah. craziness that he's doing. <laughs> On top of that, the Kamala Harris pickup is not the best, like we said, and I agree with Eric and Marvin and uh, Mr. Wade, it's not the best choice, but it is better than <laughs> having uh, Pence in there. And I think she can change right. with the surrounding and the, and the team that she's going to be around. Uh, but it, it, you've got to understand, we have to, let, you know, it's picking the lesser two evils, man. And, and regardless mm -hmm. of who goes in, they're always going to be stakeholders who they have to, uh, uh, you know, uh, answer to who you know promote them and funding and fundraising and all that so they're going to influence a lot of change but the the stuff that's going on right now the divide that's happening in our culture i mean in our country it has to stop because this is bringing nothing yeah. but hate and and anybody will do i don't care if kanye come in and he's talking something different trump has to get out yeah. seriously yeah I, and, that, that, also, and that also and then also harris is a uh, She's bringing HBCU. If she's is if she's actually hey. get elected, yep. You, you know you got the HBCU and now in the White House. 
<laughs> so you got the AKAs, you know, you got the Kappas, you got everybody up in there. And that's a representation of African Americans. Right. Yeah, my wife in the background, she had AKA. She's like, yeah. <laughs> she only, yeah. 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 I was just going to say, I, I, uh, I think we got to realize, I know we always say that the black vote is important, but I think you need to go a step higher. The, the, the most important vote is the young black vote because you have these youth who, you know, they're, they're going through their lives, they're maturing, they're not sure which direction they want to go. And they really have the power, you know, because they're the future. They really have the power right. to make a change in this country. And I think when they look at somebody like Trump, who they obviously know don't care about him. But then, like mm -hmm. Mr. Wade said, when you look at Ms. Harris and you look at and if they look at her record and say, OK, well, we don't think we for her. She's for us either. It kind of puts them in a situation because, you know, young your, us, our young youth, most of the time they they live off their feelings. They're emotional. So however they feel is how they operate. Right. And, you know, I know how Tyrus was saying, you know, a lot of a lot of our young people complain. And, but that's just kind of the, the, the bottle that they're in. So it's kind of like no, it ain't the, it ain't the young folks. It's what you got, a lot of, but but most of the guys that like, the, but you got to think about it. The people that's more mature, they complain, but they do vote. But when you get to them yeah, young but, people, but, you get but, to them yeah. young people, they don't really yeah. they don't really vote. Because I know, like yeah. being a te like being a teacher, you know, I look at the high school kids and the eighteen year olds, and their thing is why vote when we don't feel like none of them care for us. Like yeah, us, but, we yeah. might know that, but like he said, we'd rather get Trump out of there and yeah. work with what we got. We got to get we got to get our we got to get our black folks to vote yeah. because right. that's how Trump. What people don't understand, Trump didn't get in. Trump didn't get in. Trump got in be, the, the way he should have got in. Trump got in because the independent people didn't like didn't like him and they didn't like Hillary, so they chose not to vote. Those right. votes would would have even if you'd had they would got Hillary in there. Right. Yeah, but but by not I, voting, you you basically said yeah. I accept I accept Trump being the president. But I what I you vote and, and, and vote, right. for, for, you know what I mean? Just yeah, don't work right. but we got to push our young kids, yeah. nieces yeah. and nephews, everybody. Get them out. Let's have them conversations every day with them. Stay on them, them young kids right. about voting, man. Because I mean, mm -hmm. to me, too many black people have died for us not mm -hmm. to vote. It's two things yeah. I made. I told my son he's going to do for the rest of his life. you going to vote and you're going to read. Because there, yes. there's been a lot of black people who have died so that we could do those things. And I take full advantage of it. And I'm gonna yeah, make. Sure, I told myself, make sure you do, and your kids do too. And yeah, but what just... I was saying, what I was saying was, what I was trying to respond to Chuck about. You know, I worked the polls for the last two times we voted, and you know, I might, I might only work them for three or four hours, but the three or four hours I was there, I seen two people that looked like me in my age group. Mm. Uh, mm. You know, just so anybody knows my age group. I'm 34 years old, so I, I from 18 to to 35, I seen two people. Everybody I seen that voted. Was probably over forty five, right? So I'm saying, and with right. the black yeah, people, right. I think now right. you know, I see white people of all ages, of all ages, young, old, but that's all I seen. You know, right. in, in the uh, the district that I worked in is a predominantly black district. So you tell me why I'm not seeing seeing anyone, and that's the thing I'm saying. And, and you know, and it's not just for the presidency that really concerns me. You got to vote for your local politics too. Yeah, and yeah. Don't even don't even right. know. Right. When we're voting for mayors, when we're voting for city council, like all that stuff really matters. And right. you know, it's a lot of people that don't uh I don't know, they don't care, don't know. They don't know. know. They don't know. Yeah. And, and let me just really quick throw in here. This is the one message that I want to send out to anybody who questions why they should or should not vote, especially people like us. My question to y'all is simply this: if you think not voting is such a big deal then answer me, why are there so many people and so many organizations who don't want us or will not allow us to vote? You know what I mean? That's what I go back and say to people. Right. It's like, listen, right. I've had to work myself to get back to the ability to have the freedom to be able to vote. I'm not losing that right or that privilege. And I'm telling everybody, I don't care what side of the fence you're on. That makes no difference to me. But you need to make your voice heard, especially yeah. now, yeah. more than ever. And Tyrus, to your point, I think it's just simply we as the older generation. I mean, I'm I'm 44. OK, mm -hmm. if I don't go out and talk to young black men and women and say, oh. are you voting like this is the important you need to vote. And when they ask me why, I'm saying, OK, bottom line, there are people who are pushing for you to not have a voice. 
Mm. You have to beat these odds. You have to go out there and make right. your voice heard. Right. Now, peep hey, pe pe this, guys. Peep this, guys. With uh, exactly what we're talking about. This is why this, you know, podcast and Mr. Wade and Mr. Williams is so amazing that you guys come on and talking about voting and young voters not going out. Right. Mr. Eric, Mr. Wade, let, let's talk about this age difference. Our, our age and younger, influenced by rap, you know, you know what we see all the time, uh, music, right. things like that. You're not going to see a lot of young voters going out because they're not engaged in that type of stuff. What they engage is is what is being pushed on TV. Correct. And that's all, that's all the stuff we see. Right. So right. the great thing about it is when you have Mr. Williams and Mr. Wade come out, you have a son speaking about this. Now they're right. able to get this content. And now that's how the discussion starts. That's why no. I, I talk about this all the time on the show. We have to have these black, we have to have black leaders like back in the day. If right. you don't want to do it, I'm going to do it, man. I'm going to be the right. man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you guys, because, I'm going to have to leave you guys. I appreciate y'all bringing me on. Uh, yes, this sir. is my anniversary weekend. Okay. And uh, so I'm going to have to go and run. I, I went and took my wife down the street and left her. And so they they blow on my phone. Up. <laughs> they blow on my phone. Up. So uh, <laughs> hey, I love to come back on the show, man. Just you know, Please. anytime, just let me know. How many, how many years if you don't mind me asking? Huh? How many years if you don't mind me asking? Oh, I just got married. Uh, it's been this two years. Uh, Monday will be two okay. years. I got married in Italy. Uh, the year for oh, last. Yeah. Happy it'd anniversary, be, be man. Years, me and my wife on the twenty fifth. So. Happy yeah, anniversary. Happy anniversary, bro. My brother. Yeah, great, man. man. This is my third time, but uh, I truly believe this is you know going to be the, the last time. And it's been the best uh, for me. I've matured yeah. a lot. I've learned a lot. And I've, I've learned to let my wife lead. And, you know, I do my part, uh, you know, picking her up, you know, backing her up. So, it, it, but it works. It works. Hey, so, so, hey, man, time you come appreciate y'all. I need some pointers from y'all, man, if you don't mind. Uh, I appreciate y'all, man. Come on, uh, I need some pointers. <laughs> okay, no doubt, no doubt, and uh, I'll uh, I love to come back on the show. Uh, Mr. Williams, love yes, you, sir. man. Uh, I'll be talking to you too, Tuesday night, and uh, thank you guys once again uh, for having yes, me on the show. Always, all right, Mr. Yes, Williams, an honor, sir. Have thank you, night, yes, sir. all right, thank you guys. Again. Well, well. That we really talked about everything, and I'm really glad that you came on, though, Mr. Williams. I mean, it Me was too. Thank awesome. You. Thank just you, the God. vibe, just the energy. Did, you, did you. anybody else have anything else you want to close with, Eric? Chuck? No, I'm just. Hey, actually, let me close with something that I start my show with every time, man. And I, I just something that I think we really need to keep pressing. Something we need to keep the conversation going. I say this to start my show, the Sports Arena, every time. We need justice for Breonna Taylor. We need justice for Elijah McClain. We need justice for Vanessa Gillian. Thank you very much for letting me be on. As always, brother, y'all call me if you ever need me. Gentlemen, say what? Say it again, podcast. Y'all need to jump on the sports arena. We need to have some more liquor <laughs> conversation there. Oh, wait, Mr. Hey, 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 hey. Just let yeah. me know. I'm, I'm, I'm free. Okay. You know and what and Mr. Williams, I'm so thankful you shared your book with us. I did put the link on there for everybody, but I ordered my copy. So thank, thank you. Thank you so much. I enjoyed everybody, talking to you. Thank yeah. you. Y'all have a good night. You All right, too, you too, man. Take care. I just want to throw in there with you know to say what's said again. Uh, every Tuesday night, uh, eight thirty. We've been doing it for about. Are we closing on what three months? Yeah, about three months. Yeah, about three months. Okay. Uh, we've been doing it, but uh, yeah, we most definitely appreciate you having us on. No uh, and like right, I said, man. what Mr. Way was saying, yeah. really get on for me with the prostate cancer. My uh, wife's mom just died of a uh, of a uh, breast cancer. Uh, just wow. last week. So wow. on a purple August. So uh, we most definitely uh anything we can we can help do with the cancer. Mm. Uh, most definitely. And uh one of the guys on the show, his uh, brother died from uh cancer. I don't know what, what kind of cancer it was, I don't remember. But um so just just keep us in your prayers and we keep 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 you all in ours and absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say real quick. Uh, we we thank you guys. Um, this was my first time because I know normally, you know, I have stuff with my son and my wife going on, so I was able to get on this night. But I, I want to thank uh, Mr. Williams and Mr. Wade as well as Mr. Watson for their stories because I think uh, our age category and younger, um, you know, we we teach we teach about a lot of things, but nowadays one of the the key components of life is survival. And seeing that you guys are going through what you're going through and you're still surviving, you're still strong, you're yeah. still here. Yeah. We need to we need to physically see what that looks like, 
you know, because as young as young black men, we're gonna go through stuff. Some of the stuff we don't even see it coming yet, but we're gonna go through something. Right. Right. And just know Absolutely. that when, when, when that time comes, you know, we can endure. So I really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. Hey, you're welcome. I'm around if you need anything, man. Just get a hold of me. I'll be glad to talk to you guys anytime, man. Yes, sir. No hesitation. Yes, sir. Thank you. No hesitation. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. Definitely will. Yeah. And you're always uh, welcome back. Uh, matter of fact, we're going to try to have everybody back on uh, as we're going to do these uh, pop up shows like uh, bi weekly, hopefully. Keep <laughs> up the good work, man. Do. You're doing a great job. Absolutely. Man, I appreciate it, man. Keep I appreciate up the good it. Work. Well, we we gonna job. we gonna build with you guys, so we will you know see y'all real soon, man. Okay, man. All right, all right. All right. Thank you, guys. Everybody be blessed, man. All right, be blessed, man. All right.